Hello there and welcome to another Tableau video. We're going to be discussing uh, live connections versus extracts. And if you have really, really small data, like I'm talking like 100 rows, 500 rows, and it's static, like it's not based off a query or like uh, it's not multiple queries connected to it. If, if you haven't got anything like that, then this is, you're not going to really notice a performance difference between the two. So let's just go through it because the extraction time does take a while. So I can probably talk through that. I have a data set here, and it's from memory, I think it's like 500,000 records, right? So I'm going to go put that in. All right, does the connection. And up here, you'll see the connection type. So live versus extract. We're going to start with live. So I'm going to go ahead and go into sheets, and I'm going to map city, okay? Right, and as you notice, it kind of rendered for a little bit, it took a little bit of time. As you do more and more things, it starts to shrug struggle a bit more. The more data you have, the more calculations that have to happen. If you're connecting to something, like I said, is quite static, then you're not going to have an issue. So if you notice that Tableau is starting to run queries, and you'll notice because like a window comes up and says running query, calculating, all that stuff, right? What you can do is you can go to data source, right on the bottom left here and click on extract okay now what that does is I'm gonna go ahead and start it simply click extract and click sheet one that will start preparing your extract okay so I'm gonna go ahead and save this okay and what happens is pretend I have a database here and then and then I run queries off that so that's the first query that's the next query and then finally I send that to Tableau Okay, what happens is every time you do something in Tableau, it has to go and trigger. It goes, okay, run this query, run this query to get from the table. Okay, and you have to do this every time. And if you're doing like a deep dive analysis, if you have to wait 10 seconds or even five seconds every single time you change something, it gets super annoying, right? I have a few friends at work who they're dealing with a few million data sets, and every time they change something, like a color, it calculates. So what you want to do is you want to avoid that. And what the extract function does is it takes the final result. Actually, let me change the color. It takes the final result here that calculates off the query and it takes a picture, right? It takes a picture here. And so basically it creates a hyper file and the connection is just these two, right? So just this part here. So it doesn't have to travel as far in terms of the calculation or the data flow. Okay, and that's what the extract does. The one of the disadvantages is, let's say, I'll use another color. Uh, let's just do let's do purple. Let's say you change the data set in your database. Okay, instead of having a hundred thousand rows, you now have two hundred thousand, right? Because you added no, new data in. That won't reflect in Tableau. So what you have to do is, you have to, if I get my, let's go back to data source. You have to refresh your data okay and you can do it by just simply clicking that button so let's say I'm in my sheet I'm doing my thing and then someone goes oh Jed there's some fresh data in the database you need to reset your systems I can go to data source I go refresh right it's not going to do anything yet until I go into a sheet so I go sheet then it's going to start the refresh process which means it's going to create a fresh extract a fresh hyper file and then I'm on my way so when I'm dealing with huge data sets, I always do extracts just for the performance uh, improvement. Okay, so again, just to summarize, if your if your Tableau is having problems with handling large amounts of data, try the extract option to increase your performance. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this short video, and I'll see you next time.